Anisia here. Oh my god, it's been a while. Welcome back to my channel. You know, your girl is trying to be a doctor, so it's been hard uploading. But I'm on holidays, and today I wanted to share with you guys my natural hair journey slash update. I actually wanted to do this video when I was five years in, but I've been posting stuff on my Instagram, and a lot of you guys have been like sending me a bunch of messages saying that you want an update on my natural hair. So today I decided to look back on my photos and see how long it's been since I did my big chop. So for you guys that have been here with me since my big chop, I big chopped in October 2015, but then I cut my hair again in January 2016. So my journey started in the year of 2016. You guys have to remember that before I did my big chop, I did have my hair grown out for a while. My hair has been growing for over a year before I decided to big chop. That's why I had a little bit of hair on my head, but it was really really short and I wasn't used to that. When I was newly natural, I was using a lot of she butter. That's what I was using for all my twist outs and I was using a lot of sew-ins. At the time, I really liked dyeing my hair. Actually, until this day, I love dyeing my hair. But today, I use wigs. 2016 to 2017 was literally my best year of hair growth. And it's like that every time I try to grow my hair, when I was relaxed, I cut off all my hair and started at shoulder length in 2012. 2012 to 2013 was literally the best year of my relaxed hair growth. So since my head, since I have a really round head, I didn't wear my hair out as much, but I was really excited. My hair did get visibly longer, but the thing is, my hair shrinks like crazy. The only way for it not to shrink is if I wear a lot of product, but I mean a lot of product to weigh it down. The hair that I have in my front right now, I literally place leave-in conditioner, a cream for curly hair, and some like gelatin but to make it lay down like this because if I hadn't placed anything, like it would literally like be up here to my eye because my hair just shrinks a lot. 2017, I literally was walk was rocking this black wig. It was a wig that belonged to my mom, and she said it was too long, so she gave it to me. And I used it like crazy. I used it the whole year because that was the year that I moved to Brazil to study. If you guys don't know, I've been living in Brazil since 2017. I'm here because I want to be a doctor, so I'm a med student. That's why I've been MIA. <laughs> since it was my first year on my own, I just didn't want to like mess with my hair all the time, so I decided to use my mom's wig, and that's literally what I what I did the whole year and throughout the end of the year I started using more protective hairstyles because my hair got longer not that I'm ashamed of shorter hair but as I said because my face is rounder I don't like having my hair up as much because usually when I do protective hairstyles I always have something else to like frame my face or something I don't know but like I just was waiting for my hair to grow a little longer before I started messing around with it so entering 2018 I started using protective hairstyles a lot more and I started getting more wigs so since I love color so much I just said like I'm not gonna dye my hair like until now that I'm sitting right here I really wanted to dye my hair but I'm like you know what guys I'm just gonna leave my hair alone and I'm gonna let it like reach the five year mark that I want it to reach and then later I might dye my ends or something but I really don't want to mess around with my hair when I'm on a hair journey I really don't want to do anything that messes up my hair hey so this is me from the future with a cold but I just came to inform you guys that I actually did dye my hair. Yes, I dyed my ends, but then I regretted it. So I dyed it back to black. And then I found this hairspray thing that you can use to dye your hair. And now I'm looking to get hair wax so I can have colored hair without actually damaging my hair. Yay! Oh, another thing I forgot to mention is that in 2016-ish, I also got, I also became anemic. So I did lose a lot of hair. So for you guys that have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that a few years ago I had a hormonal imbalance that made my body go cuckoo. And then I got my period for four months and that made me go anemic. So then later my body went even more cuckoo and then I start losing hair and yeah, now we're here. I had a lot of trouble getting that hair to grow back. It was really hard and until this day, I still have like a bald patch somewhere here. Like it's really hidden because like I did my hair really nice today, but I, ha I have a bald patch around the front of my hair until this day of hair that didn't grow back because when I became anemic, I started losing a lot and I need a lot of hair. It was really, I was really sad because I'm like, dang, I became natural now and I'm thinking that I'm going to have this long, foundation. I don't even know if that's a word, but basically I feel like anyone that has been relaxed and transitioned to be natural thinks the same thing, that their hair is going to be long and just like 
gorgeous. So going through a hair loss process like that, it was just really annoying. And I think I said 2016, but it was like uh, the end of 2016 entering 2017. So that was really hard. But in 2018, my hair really did strike because I used a lot, and I mean a lot of wigs. I literally lived under wigs. In 2017, I used a lot of wigs, but I still had my hair out. In 2018, I, like I literally had my hair in wigs all the freaking time and that's why by New Year's I realized that my hair was literally almost to my waist and now the only thing and guys I, this is not a problem for me because I know a lot of people get annoyed when people say this but it's like my hair has a lot of shrinkage and it's kind of um, annoying because as I said the only way for it to stay down is if I place a lot and I mean a lot of product in it I took a picture on the beach a few days ago that's my hair in 2019 it only stayed down like that because before I left my house I already placed so much product in it and when I was at the beach my hair was really wet as soon as I took my picture and as soon as I left the sea my hair started to shrink right back up it barely reaches my shoulders that's why most of my pictures that I post lately my hair always already my hair always looks wet because it usually is. I haven't styled my hair like dry doing a wash and go and like letting the wash and go dry. Basically, I do my wash and goes and while my hair is still like wet and humid, I wear my hair out and the minute it starts to dry, I put my hair up in a bun or something because I just don't know you guys, it's just really hard to frame my face. It's me from the future again. So I filmed this video in the very last days of August and it's already the second week of September So I just came to update you guys on some things. I'm finally learning how to style my hair when it's dry So I've noticed that I like to post pictures when my hair is wet because since I haven't been straightening my hair to measure my growth I feel like I need to wet my hair every single time that I want to track my growth, but I don't do that anymore and two years ago i posted a wash and go and my hair barely reached my neck and that's how my hair was when it shrunk nowadays my hair still shrinks a lot and i mean a lot but i still know how to i'm learning how to manage it better i've been watching a lot of youtubers to see how they get their hair so big i know there's women that naturally they just place stuff in their hair and then they get a natural afro unfortunately i'm not one of those women my hair if I don't do anything to style my hair, my hair literally shrinks into a little ball. So I've learning, so I've been learning how to style it, how to turn it into a puff, and I've been letting it dry completely because as I said, I haven't been letting my hair dry completely. But anyways, I'll keep updating you guys because I feel like this year is the first time I've actually been wearing my natural hair out because before that, I honestly had no idea what I was doing. My comfort zone with my hair is when I style it in protective hairstyles. It really became natural so that I can wear my hair out more. And because I've always wanted volume, that's why I would only relax my hair every six months to a year because when my new growth would come in, my hair would have a lot of volume. And now, I can say like in the last two weeks, I finally know how to make my hair have a lot of volume to the point that sometimes I can't even put it in a puff because it's so full. So yeah. The recent thing that I've been doing is braids. Braids, as I said in my video of how I grow my hair so fast, is the thing that makes my hair grow like crazy since I was a child. But I, since I did my big chop, I never, I haven't done braids since I did my big chop, which is insane. I did braids recently and my hair grew like crazy. So. I'm trying to hold off straightening my hair because the last time I straightened my hair was in 2017. So I straighten my hair every like once every year, but last year I didn't straighten it. And this year I'm waiting until the end of the year, or maybe I'll do it in 2020. Because I really want to see like how much my hair can grow if I just leave it alone. It's me from the future again, and I'm currently in the process of straightening my hair. Yay! You guys are going to see me rock a lot of braids until the end of the year. So I'm basically just going to try to ditch the wigs a little bit and I'm going to do my braids. I really like the color blue. I love the color purple. I'm sure you guys have noticed. So lately I've just been doing braids and my braids are all going to be colorful. Blue, purple, white, like, you know. So I just wanted to come here and like show you guys like how my hair has been doing because 
you guys have been asking me on Instagram to show you and to let you know what's been up. If you guys want more hair videos, please let me know. Comment down below some videos you guys want to see. The most recent video that I posted was a rice water um, hair routine. I haven't done rice water since like February or March to be honest. It really does make your hair thicker. Anyways you guys, I really don't know what else to say. I went through everything from the year 2016 to the year 2019, which is basically three and a half years. So yeah you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to be back and posting more because YouTube is like my therapy to be honest. If you like this video, please thumbs it up and let me know down below what other videos you'd like to see. Even if it's hair related, let me know what type of hair video you want. Hair tutorials, wash day routines, like just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.